So Barack Obama did an interview where he uh, said what we've been saying at this show. It's going to surprise you that he's calling for diplomacy with Vladimir Putin about Ukraine. Let's listen to what Barack Obama has to say. Maybe we could call him a Putin puppet. Maybe we'd call him pro-Putin. Is this more put peasement? This is more put peasement. <laughs> <laughs> we do have, how, however, uh, to be clear and honest with them about what we can and cannot do. And there are lines that we have to um, determine internally, the US, NATO, uh, and others, um, that take into account the risk of this tipping into a Russia-US-NATO conflict as opposed to a Russia-Ukraine conflict. Um, I'm not privy to enough of the intelligence at this stage to, and it's not my job as a private citizen to, to um, a private the, citizen. The, the, I, know, I like how he calls himself a private citizen. I like how he says he's not privy to intelligence. By the way, the intelligence is always wrong. It's always made up. <laughs> yeah. Does you don't have to be privy to the intelligence to know we should negotiate a peace treaty with Russia over Ukraine, or else the Ukrainian people are going to get killed more. Okay, here we go. In on on where that line should be drawn. But as we're thinking about, for example, what weapons we're sending in or how we're approaching our support for Ukraine, uh, I, I think thinking about where defense stops and offense begins and how we manage that um, is something that we have to pay attention to. And I do think, you know, probably the thing that I'm, I'm most concerned about is that lines of communication between uh, the White House and the Kremlin are probably um, as weak as they have been in a very long time. Yeah. Even, And why do you think that is, Barack? Do you think that's because your party and the establishment corporate bought media pushed a conspiracy theory called Russiagate that demonized Russia and everybody Russian and the president of the United States and anybody who, to, who, who had a counter narrative to <laughs> Russia controls our elections was was smeared. You think maybe that's why we don't have a relationship to talk to the other nuclear power in the world? You think that might be it? Yes, that's it. <laughs> in the, uh, you know, in, in some of the lowest points uh, of the Cold War, there was still sense uh, a sense of the ability to pick up a phone and, and work through. And you don't have that anymore. <laughs> you got rid of it. You guys got worse than the right-wing McCarthyites in the 50s. and You guys are worse than them. It's so toxic now that you can't even have a negotiation with Putin because you've so propagandized the whole entire world that he's now some kind of existential threat. And what happened in Ukraine is wrong. You've convinced everybody that that's your position, and now you can't. How could you possibly? Uh, uh, diplomatic channels uh, to to send clear signals. And uh, a lot of that is broken down, and I don't think it's uh, the fault of our administration. I think that... You, you, you mean, he means Obama's administration. Yeah, right. <laughs> he means, it's not my fault. Uh -huh. It's not my fault. Yeah, that's exactly what he means. Yeah, it's not my fault. And I'm just a private citizen. <laughs> <laughs> We're now dealing with a... Um, a type of Russian regime that is actually even more centralized, even uh, more isolated and closed off. I think Putin did he did he call it a Russian regime just now? I think so. Did he did he say a Russian regime or a Russian government? Wait, say he, go back. <laughs> um, a type of Russian regime that is actually. Even more centralized. He's calling them a regime. Yeah. He's doing that. So that's what he does. So that's what they. So when it's when it's the United States and we're invading Iraq or we're invading uh, Libya, or we're invading Afghanistan, or we're stealing the the oil from Syria. We're a government, but oh. but Russia is a regime. You see that? That's different. I don't know what regime means. It's a negative. It means that they're I know bad. It's bad. That's but... all it means. It means they're bad. <laughs> even uh, more isolated and closed off. I think Putin uh, has consolidated decision-making to a degree that we haven't seen, uh, even uh, during the Soviet era.
and and I, that I think creates uh, some dangerous and, and us finding ways in which some of that communication can can uh, uh, be reestablished. I think would be important. <laughs> oh, you want to reestablish communications with the other nuclear power? Isn't that uh, almost like that's common sense? <laughs> hey, I'm glad I don't work there anymore. Ah. But if I did, I would. I would if try, I did, uh, I'd try to maybe avoid a nuclear war. <laughs> Well, why don't you say that? Why don't you come out and call for peace? Why don't you come out and call? Because he won't. Why do you got to be so fucking mealy-mouthed? <laughs> why? Because Barack Obama is a tool of the military-industrial complex and Wall Street, big pharma, and the health insurance companies, just like every other fucking politician. That's why. Barack Obama is not a good person. Barack Obama is a war criminal. He presided over the drone program, which killed 90% innocent people, women, children, grandmas. So if he went into a, a, a mall and he gunned them down with a Uzi, he would be considered a crazy mass murderer. But if you do it with a drone, he's considered a, the great, greatest president of my lifetime. Yeah, they can fly him with an Xbox controller. Yeah, that's right. So he did that. He did that. He bombed the shit out of Muslim countries for eight years straight, killing thousands and thousands. He dropped more bombs than George Bush. Did you know that? He dropped more bombs. He was not a departure from George Bush. He took us from two wars to seven wars. He continued the occupation of Afghanistan, which the Afghan papers revealed was a complete lie. They lied to us for 20 years. That was nothing but an upward transfer of wealth from our U.S. Treasury to the international security state. That's what that to the military industrial apparatus. That's what that was. That's who Barack Obama is. He's not a good guy. He's he's not super wise. He gave us a right wing health care plan. He put kids in cages, deported more Hispanics than, than Donald Trump, dropped more bombs than George Bush, kicked five million people out of their families, out of their houses while he made sure the bankers got their fucking bonuses that's who that guy is and he he repealed habeas corpus while he was torturing chelsea manning that's who he is oh that was i thought it was before him that no was him that was him oh yeah brock wow. obama was president in 2008 i didn't realize that was him i thought that was the no. original paint wow so because now our next story is very interesting because somebody finally 20 fucking years later is going to confront Barack Obama about his bullshit warmongering. That's going to happen. That's our next video. See, in Denver, Palm Springs, Austin, Texas, and Burbank, California after Thanksgiving. Plus, we're going to be doing a lot of shows in December in Studio City. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com for a link for all the tickets.